Hi, this is Dr. Marty Klein. You know, summer is just about here, and so let's talk about how to make sex more enjoyable this summer. Here are some things that you can do that are absolutely, positively guaranteed to help you enjoy sex more. Number one, slow down. This is the single best way to improve your sexual experience. Some people rush to sex before their partner changes his or her mind. Some people rush to sex because they don't enjoy kissing or caressing their partner. Some people rush to intercourse before someone loses their erection. Some people rush to orgasm because the rest of the sex is boring. That is a lot of rushing. To enjoy sex more, slow down and experience it using all five senses, or at least more than just one. Number two, emphasize pleasure over orgasm. If you think that orgasm is the best part of sex, you're missing the best part of sex. For too many people, sex is 15 minutes of boring or mediocre stuff with three seconds of pleasure or relief at the end. No orgasm can possibly be enjoyable enough to redeem sex that is painful or pointless or scary or confusing or unwanted. To enjoy sex more, focus on the majority of the experience, that is, before orgasm, and try to configure some of it more the way you like. Birth control. I have lost count of the number of men I've seen who interrupt intercourse right before they ejaculate as a form of birth control, you know, pulling out. By any man or woman would take such a chance or undermine their sexual experience is beyond me. In addition to condoms, which work pretty well, there's the IUD and diaphragm, along with a wide range of hormonal options, which are safer today than ever before. As a reminder, penis-vagina intercourse is the only kind of sex that requires contraception. Every one of us has many other options. If you and your partners can't agree on a contraceptive method that you use consistently, consider replacing intercourse as the center of your sex life with outer course. Lube, lube, lube. Put anything into a vagina, lube it. Someone's hand stroking a penis, lube it. Using a condom, put, a, some, put some bit of lube inside the condom and more outside the condom. Anal sex without lube? Why would anybody do that? Lube has no moral value. Using it doesn't mean anyone has failed to crank out enough natural lube or failed to excite their partner enough to do so. Many patients tell me they don't keep lube in their night table because they don't want the kids to find it and ask what it is. Oh, come on, just tell them. This is what we use to make sex more enjoyable. Yeah, that does mean talking with your kids about sex, which every parent needs to do periodically. Memo to porn consumers. Actors and actresses use tons of lube off camera. Get excited. When patients tell me a story about a disappointing sexual experience, I usually ask if they were excited. Often, the answer is, well, I was erect, or well, I was wet. Both indicate that the body is aroused, which is important, but they don't indicate if the person is excited, activated, engaged, energized. And without those, hard penises and wet vaginas just go through the motions of sex without the emotional impact that most people want from it. I don't like the expression foreplay, but since most people know what it means, I'll use it here. Foreplay is for getting excited both emotionally and physically. To enhance sexual enjoyment, don't proceed beyond foreplay until you're ready, until you're eager for other activities. Do only what you want. Most of us won't let someone pressure us to eat something we don't want. So don't do anything sexual that you don't want to do. If that turns off your partner, you have a bigger problem than sex. And if it's a deal breaker for your partner, you might want to let them go. When couples can't agree on how much sex to have, the person who wants more sex generally doesn't want just their partner's body. They want their partner's enthusiasm. If you can't provide that, don't be surprised if your partner is still unsatisfied when you say yes more than you want to. Take your age seriously. Chronic pain is very unsexy. 
and a fact of life for almost everyone as we age. Talk about it with your partner and tailor your sexual activities around it. You may need to say goodbye to some of your favorite positions, which is part of the emotional side of the aging process. As we get older, we take more medications, which may have sexual side effects. Talk with your pharmacist or physician about possible changes in libido, erection, lubrication, body smell, and skin sensitivity before or after taking a new drug. Accept your body. When you wake up tomorrow morning, your body will not be younger or more fit. Your complexion won't be better, your hair won't be more luxurious, you won't lose your surgical scars, and your body parts won't be more symmetrical or less wrinkled. So hiding your body during sex, lights off, t-shirt on, don't touch my fat belly or my hairy butt, is never temporary. It's a self-shaming way of life, and it prevents sexual pleasure. As Donald Rumsfeld famously said, you go to war with the army you have, not the one you wish you had. Well, we go to sex with the body we have. Our only options are to accept and enjoy it or reject and struggle with it. Don't self-diagnose. People usually don't go to the doctor and announce what disease they have, requesting it be fixed. Rather, they report their symptoms. This hurts, that doesn't work like it used to, and the doc figures out what the problem is. Your leg could hurt, and the problem might be your spine. You might be getting headaches because of something in your diet. Drug companies love when people self-diagnose because they often then ask their doctor for a particular medicine. For example, a self-diagnosis of ED, erectile dysfunction, typically leads to demand for Viagra. Gentlemen, if you cannot get an erection when you're drunk, angry, anxious, guilty, or indifferent to your partner, you don't have ED. And women, if you don't get wet or have an orgasm when you're drunk, angry, anxious, guilty, or indifferent to your partner, you don't have some kind of sexual dysfunction. Human genitalia are not like ATMs, ready to function rain or shine, regardless of circumstances. Don't decide your genitalia are broken just because they don't jump whenever you want them to 24 seven. Well, talk, talk, talk. This isn't exotic, but it is effective. Talk with your partner. Talk about what you like, what you don't like, what you want them to know, and ask a few questions too. If you're embarrassed or you don't know exactly what to say, or don't know how your partner will respond, do it anyway. Oh, one more thing. Remember that real sex doesn't feel like porn sex, TV sex, movie sex, Instagram sex, or romance novel sex looks or sounds. More enjoyable sex is not about exotic techniques or new positions or expensive toys or a more attractive partner. As I describe in my book, Sexual Intelligence, more enjoyable sex generally comes from better communication, self-acceptance, and simply paying attention. Well, I publish a video quickie like this every few weeks. To get notified when I do, just click the subscribe button below. I'm Dr. Marty Klein. Thanks for joining me.